Long before the word entrepreneur became popular, women around the world met the challenge of supporting themselves and their families by running micro-businesses from their backyards and kitchens. Mary Chetty's mother is one of them, and she passed on her enterprising spirit and her love of cooking to her daughter. After a successful career in the corporate world, Mary has now decided to focus on making and marketing delicious home-style food. And Karishma met her for some tips. Silver spoons never figured in Mary Chetty's childhood, and her strong work ethic has always been part of her outlook on life. She completed her BCom degree while working in the banking industry and built a successful and satisfying career. Then she decided to follow her mother Molly's example and branch out into catering. Life can take many different twists and turns, which ultimately lead us to becoming who we are. Mary Chetty certainly has an interesting life story, which has led her down the path she's on today. Let's go find out more. Hello, Karishma. Hello. Welcome to our home. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Please come in. Karishma, come meet my mom. Ma, this is Karishma. So Thank lovely you. to meet you. Mary, I'm so honoured to have met your mum because I know that your story starts with her. Absolutely, Karishma. My mum is a wonderful woman, hard-working and entrepreneur of note. You know, she lost my dad. She was only 32 years old. And she found herself a housewife having to support six children. The oldest was 12 and the youngest was three years old. She then started to make muruku. So we would go to school in the day. Mom would go work in a factory as a machinist and then when she got home, she would make the murukus and pack them in little baskets for us, a hundred each. And we had to sell them for one cent each and bring home the money. You and your husband were both activists against social injustice. What made you so passionate about the cause? When we were little, our real only outing was to the beach and we got there using a train. I was reprimanded by a white Afrikaans male and told that I had to get off the train from a certain coach and get into another one. And I couldn't understand it as a little child. And as I grew older, I began to understand what apartheid really meant. And to me, from the core of my being, it was so wrong because we're all human beings. And based on the color of your skin, you should not be treated any differently. So when I was at university, I was part of the Natal Indian Congress. I canvassed door to door for people to reject the tricameral parliament because that was also a form of apartheid at the time. So my husband and I spent a lot of time in the community educating basically because what we found that there was a lack of knowledge transferring to the common man in the street about what was happening in government because we wanted equality for everybody. Now I see your two beautiful grandchildren on the fridge. Tell me a bit more about your family and how have they reacted to your career search? My grandchildren are beautiful. They are so precious, I love them dearly. I've got two children with my husband. He's my high school sweetheart that I married. My daughter is 31 years old. She's also an entrepreneur, runs her own business up in Johannesburg. My son, he is 27 years old, and he's doing his honors year in accounting sciences. And yes, it's been a bit of a shock to the family that I've taken this bold step, but they're very supportive because they know that this has been in my heart for a very long time. After 25 years of banking, Mary decided that she needed a fresh challenge in her life and part-time cookery classes grew into an upmarket catering concern. Now, I know it all started with Murku, but why did you choose to specialize in samosas? When I moved to Cape Town, I looked for an authentic Indian samosa, the one that I tasted at home that my mom made. I couldn't find it here in Cape Town. Karishma, wouldn't you love to try some? I've got some cooked up for us. Let's go to the table. I'd love to. Hello, Ma. So lovely you could join us. This looks so beautiful, Mary. Please help yourself, Karishma. Thank you. You're welcome. You had a very successful career as a private banker. What did you love most about that? Karishma looked after a portfolio of high net worth clients and I looked after their wealth, helped them grow their wealth. A lot of them were entrepreneurs and I love the relationship aspect of being a private banker. It was a very bold move to leave that successful career and follow your passion in food. What made you take the leap? I wanted to pass on the tricks and tips that my mom has 
down to the future generations because I find that that's getting lost as that generation passes on. Mary, this was so special. Thank you for letting me into your home and for sharing your secrets with me and for introducing me to your wonderful mom. It's an absolute pleasure. You're welcome anytime.